thirty two seconds into the flight the three liquid fuel main engine soon will throttle back to seventy two percent of rated performance down in the bucket reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic T-minus ten nine eight seven six five Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now in the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. The three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance, going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. One minute now to touchdown. Discovery's landing gear will be locked down and into place at 300 feet in altitude. It's currently 3,500 3, feet and uh, traveling at a rate of 370 miles per hour. Thirty seconds until touchdown. Main gear touchdown. Pilot Jim Dutton now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. That brings an end to the STS-131 mission, the 131st space shuttle flight, and the 33rd to the International Space Station. Discovery left Florida on April 5th with 7.6 tons of new science equipment and spare parts, including equipment that should improve the station's capability for Earth observation work, equipment that could help astronauts avoid muscle atrophy, and scientists better understand muscle atrophy, and equipment that will help keep the station system's cooling properly.